Hey, John at the Gravy Granary here. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to use a champagne floor corker. A champagne floor corker is a bit different than your standard wine bottle corker. So I'm going to show you some of the differences and show you exactly how it works. First thing you want to notice is a champagne cork is quite a bit larger than your standard wine cork. And you'll see that one side is straight or flat, the other side has a chamfered edge. When we use this cork, we want to use the chamfered side down. Okay, so that's the side that's going to be going down into the bottle. We're going to set the adjustment on our corking machine so that the cork only enters the wine bottle and leaves about an inch of it sticking above the bottle. That's the side we're going to put our champagne hood on and we'll wire that down. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to put our champagne bottle into our corker like any other corker. Um, you want to make sure the handle's all the way up so that your foot is free floating. Once it's floating, you can go ahead and put your bottle in. Make sure everything lines up well inside the corking device. And then we can go ahead and take our cork, drop it in, and we're just going to go ahead and pull the handle down nice and slow. And the jaws will go ahead and crimp the cork and push it down into the bottle. And I'll show you exactly what makes this corker different than your average wine bottle corker. Okay, now that we've entered the, the uh, cork all the way down into the bottle, I'm ready to remove it. Now remember, we have about an inch of this cork sticking out the top of the bottle. On your standard wine bottle corker, this bottle will not come out. It will be stuck inside there because of the expanded cork. However, with the champagne bottle corker, we have a little device here which allows the bottle to come right out because we only have a little lip here that holds the cork in place. And when we remove the bottle, this breaks away, it's spring-loaded, it lets the bottle slide right out and then it snaps back into place to hold the next cork. And that's really what makes this corker unique compared to a standard wine bottle corker. Now, this corker will cork your standard uh, wine bottle cork, a number nine, number eight cork. So you, if you were to purchase this corker, you could do both champagne bottles and standard uh, straight wine corks. Now as you can see, we've got about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of this cork sticking out of the bottle now. And that's exactly what we want with a champagne cork because now we can attach our hood and we can wire it down and we'll get that nice mushroom uh, effect on the top of our bottle. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to wire this uh, champagne cork down. Okay, now that we have the uh, champagne cork inserted in our champagne bottle, we're ready to go ahead and attach our, our champagne hood and wire. We're just going to place the hood over the top of the champagne cork, seat it nicely, and then all we have to do is twist our wire, and we can do this with just our fingers, or if you want, there's a little twisting tool that you can use to give it a few spins. We just want to crank it down nice and snug, don't make it too... Uh, tight. If you over twist it, you actually break your wire. So just a few spins, give it a nice snug uh, tight feel there and you can see that we've seated the champagne cork nicely. We have the hood holding the cork in place and that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call and thanks for watching.